there folks and welcome to another episode of Michael's 3D World. Ah, couldn't help myself, I did it again. I bought another printer. I've enjoyed the CR10 version 3 so much that I had to get another one. So I'm going to do another unboxing video on this one. It's not unlike the one I did for that one, but I'm going to show you on the table how I set everything up. I'll have links on all the descriptions or other videos to watch that I used to set this up. Some other videos I've created. I'm going to do some of these modifications that you guys have been asking about uh, on it before I actually set it up and use it. I'll have links for those modifications to get show you how to print your own or to get your own from Thingiverse and print it out yourself. Uh, I've got my Raspberry Pi I'm going to set up. And hopefully if I do it right, I can get a Raspberry Pi camera set up on this one as well. So that's going to be my ultimate goal when this video comes out, is I'll have it hooked up with a Pi. And I might actually set the Pi up, I don't know yet, to follow the arm up and down so I can get these awesome uh, time-lapse footage where it looks like the part's just growing up and you see no other movement but just the part coming up out of the plate. So we'll see. That'll be an additional something that I haven't done before. So that's what'll make this video a little more unique, possibly. We'll see when I get to the end if I was able to do that or not. So without further ado, let's get to unboxing this thing and see what all we got inside. And you guys can watch me put it together. Uh, I'll make special notes of any details or anything that's really unique about it. The one thing I do like about the CR10s is they come almost put together. Basically, you got a platform here and you put your vertical on, bolt it down, put these two uh, struts on here, and it's just about done at that point. Anyway, let's get to, let's get after it, and let's have some fun with the CR10 B3. B3. All right, right now.
Alrighty there folks, we got the CR-10 fully assembled, we've got the Raspberry Pi hooked up to it, we've got a, actually a Pi camera, a Pi style camera, it's not an actual Pi camera, but Pi style, Pi style camera hooked to it, so I can watch what's going on in here. It's actually printed a three day, hey Mr. IT guy, this clock still says three days, 20 hours and 50 minutes, it doesn't keep going once it's done printing. So that is the time it took. So I just completed a three day, 20 hours and 50 minute print. I had a brand new roll of filament. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to, the Ultimaker Cura had told me it was gonna take about 936 grams of material, which is basically, a, it's only a thousand grams on the spool. So I pretty much smoked the whole spool to print my parts. But this thing printed flawlessly. I've been printing day long and multiple day long, pr uh, print, print after print after print with this thing. Uh, it's pretty cool. The camera lets me keep an eye on things remotely. You guys can follow my other videos and see what's going on there. And uh, I'll leave links to all the videos. I'm gonna leave a link to all the tools I used to, to put this together in the video as well. So don't be afraid to follow those links. It helps out my channel a lot when you follow those links to Amazon and make your purchases. It doesn't cost you a dime, yet it benefits me immensely because I get a little bit of commission, which helps fund my channel and keep me going and keep you guys uh, up to date with innovative stuff as I'm learning and, and getting into this 3D print world myself. Uh, but now we're gonna print on here its next modification. And we'll, that'll be a whole nother video you'll see coming up in the near future as well. And what you hear next to the camera is this loud old Ender 3 that's just got fans and, and stepper noises and everything. We're going to shut that thing down and make it quiet. So that's, stay tuned for that coming up in an upcoming video. So you guys, I appreciate you watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed. I hope you found this helpful. And don't be afraid to print long prints. Once you got a thing established and you and you, you got it going, this thing, like I said, printed for three days, 20 minutes, 20 minutes, three days, 20 hours, and 50 minutes. It says it right here on the dial. And it worked flawlessly. And there's no way you sit and watch this day and night. You got to trust what your setup is. But don't do that until you feel comfortable with your printer. And then I can't endorse it. Don't do it anyway. I'll do it. You guys do what you want. It's free will out there in the world, guys and gals. So, this is Michael, and I'm out. Freeze frame.